Let's say you have a rectangle with an inscribed quarter circle, whose radius is the same length of the side of the rectangle, and also a semicircle constructed from the edge of the quarter circle to the bottom right corner of the rectangle. If the length of this tangent line is 5, what's the area of the rectangle? Now if you want, you can pause the video here and try this problem on your own. Alright, time's up. We know the area of the rectangle is equal to the base times the height. The height of the rectangle is also equal to r, the radius of the quarter circle. And this is also a radius of the quarter circle. Now, if we call the radius of the semicircle s, then we can see the base is equal to r plus 2s. Putting the area of the rectangle in terms of the radii of the two circles, we have r plus 2s times r. And after distributing the r, we have ar is equal to r squared plus 2rs. Now let's move to the bottom part of the diagram. We'll draw a radius that meets the tangent line here, which means it must create a 90 degree angle. That means that this is a right triangle. We know the legs of the triangle are 5 and s, and the hypotenuse is r plus s, so let's plug that into the Pythagorean theorem. We get 5 squared plus s squared is equal to r plus s squared, and after squaring that we get 25 plus s squared equals r squared plus 2rs plus s squared. Here we can cancel the two s squareds, which leaves us with 25 is equal to r squared plus 2rs. Notice this is equal to the definition of the area of the rectangle that we calculated earlier. That means we can say the area of the rectangle is 25. 